Thanks for checking out this video. So this is another one of my haul videos. If you guys saw the last one, it was Giallo, Giallo Blu-rays. And this one is basically Giallo Blu-ray Part 2, which I'm very excited about. So um, this is actually from Best Buy. I actually try usually not to purchase from bigger stores like that. I usually like to go with something like a Severin or a Vinegar Syndrome or a, like uh, a Zavi even is smaller. Uh, that's where the ones from were from last time, uh, or you know, like Diabolic DVD stuff like that. Um, just because I'd like to give my money to smaller operations, but every now and then, if I'm looking for something specific, I have to go a little bit larger. So it just happens. So uh, begrudgingly, a bit, I purchased these from Best Buy. Uh, I didn't know that they actually have a pretty good Giallo Blu-ray selection there. So if people are really looking for some certain Giallo titles, check out Best Buy. So uh, I have six here. I'm going to go over the first three will be ones I've not yet seen, but I have read are quite good as far as Giallo goes. So I definitely wanted to see them. So I just purchased them. And then the last three are ones that I've seen and there are reviews for them on my channel. Now, also on that note... Uh, I have an entire playlist on my channel that is all Giallo film reviews. If you are interested in that, hopefully you are, because I would love to get nerdy with you about it. Comment on those if you like them. All that jazz. But I'm not going to read the backs of these, because especially for the ones that I haven't seen yet, I don't want to know anything. When I go into Giallo, I want to know nothing about the story. That's how I experience these films. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. So the first one is by Francesco Barilli, and it is The Perfume of the Lady in Black. Uh, this one actually is the only one with an actual slip cover. And actually, I think it's of all the Giallo Blu-rays I have, not a single one has a slip cover except this one. So that was interesting. Um, I'm excited about this one. This is on the list of, you know, ones that you should definitely see if you're into Giallo. So... I'm excited, and I, I forget what the website is, but I had just kind of like Googled best Giallo films or something like that, and it was some sort of site that was talking about kind of the most important Giallo films throughout history, so it hits like the first Giallo film, it hits, you know, all the phases and like the best Giallo films throughout each phase of, of the Giallo subgenre, which I believe ended in like 1974, I think is when all the uh, kind of hype about that subgenre dried up in Italy. And abroad so yeah so this one will be interesting to watch and when I have watched it there will be a review on my channel uh, the next one is another one that I had heard is kind of a must-see and that is uh, Umberto Lenzi's seven blood-stained orchids have not seen this one yet either I love that cover art by the way it looks super super cool really interesting plus I love the name a lot of giallo films I just love the names of them, they're a bit long, and that's one of the things that my wife finds funny. She's like, oh, those titles are so weird and long. Uh, and the next one is actually the longest, and she knows about that title, so she's just like, random. So anyway, excited about this one. Once again, there will be a review on my channel after I've watched it. And this is the last of the ones I have not seen yet, and like I said, this is the one with the longest title. Now, this is by Sergio Martino, and if you haven't been checking out my reviews and my videos lately, I've been really digging the way Sergio Martino, Martino has done some of his films, so I'm getting more into that. So this is uh, Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key. Now, this is an Arrow release, obviously. Uh, which Best Buy actually has a decent amount of Arrow stuff. But if you're looking for other Arrow stuff, Zavi has it. Um, who else? Diabolic DVD has some. Um, Vinegar Syndrome actually has some Arrow. So, just so you know. But yeah, that's, you know, not the best cover art. It's a little vague looking. But once again, it was on that list of kind of the important ones. And I'm excited to check this one out. So, yeah, again, once I watch it, there will be a review. Now, let's get to the three that I already have reviews for on my channel, and it just so happens they're all from the same director, and this is a director that I got into recently thanks to Shudder, because Shudder put on a ton of their films, and they have a bunch of films that go over into the giallo genre, or subgenre, so yeah. So here we have Evil Eye, also known as The Girl Who Knew Too Much. And that is by uh, Mario Bava. Bava, I love the way he directs, does cinematography, all that stuff. 
amazing visuals. I feel like Baba was really ahead of his time for when he was alive and doing film. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. Put some comments down here. But this is considered to be the very first Giallo film ever made. It is in black and white. Ooh, actually, has this one been colorized? I hope not. I want it in black and white. Or maybe I have options. Because on the back, it's kind of showing it in color. But it looks like it's actually a drawn picture. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully, it's still in black and white. It looks stunning. I've seen this film. It's very good. I think it might still be on Shutter when this is going up, but yeah, excited about this one. I prefer the title. I don't like Evil Eyes, the title. I like The Girl Who Knew Too Much, which is actually printed down here. So, all right, so that's, and then based off what I said, people would know the next film is also Mario Baba, and that is A Bay of Blood. This one is considered to be the film that inspired Friday the 13th and that entire franchise. In fact, some of the kills from this film were lifted directly from it and put into some of the Friday the 13th films. If you watch this and then you watch Friday the 13th, you'll see. Or if you have watched it and you know enough about it, you'll see this and you'll be like, uh, yep, I see the influences there and the lifted kills too. There's one in particular that's very easy to figure out that it was taken directly from it. So... Uh, watched this movie a few times in my life, three or four times at this point, so I figure I gotta own it. It looks great. It's Mario Bava. I really enjoy it. It's fun. It is a lot of fun, so glad to have that. And the last one is Mario Bava, and this one, I think this may have been the first Giallo film I ever saw, potentially, and it, it's definitely the first Giallo movie review I did on my channel. So that one's a little bit disconnected from the other ones if you check it out. But this one is uh, Blood and Black Lace by Mario Bava. I remember really liking this. It's been a while since I've seen it, so I really do need to rewatch it. And just looking at it, I'm like, I kind of feel like maybe I'll watch it tonight, actually. I do love how with this cover, it's all in yellow because that's kind of a callback to where Giallo started from. Giallo literally means yellow in Italian, and it, it refers to the yellow covers that they would have on the books that had the Giallo stories. So that was, I mean, the movies were based off of all these books that were created because Giallo was a book genre or book subgenre before it was filmed. So whenever in Giallo films you see a lot of references to, to yellow or a lot of the color yellow popping up, uh, the case of the Bloody Iris actually does it a lot. That is a nod to the origins of Giallo. So... This looks really cool. Um, God, I'm just so excited to watch these. So anyway, that's it. That's all six of them. That's not the end either. <laughs> I have some other types of movies coming in on Blu-ray that I will be doing haul videos for, but I also have some more <laughs> Giallo coming in. Now, I think I might wait until the rest of it comes in and do that all in one video, but I'll take a look. Um, if it's if it would be that I'd like break it up and it would be like, you know, three and three, then I'm not going to do that. I would just do six or... If, you know, I'll figure it out, but there, there's at least one more Giallo-related haul video coming up, and I'm just excited to own these and to get to the ones that I haven't seen yet. But I would love to talk to you about Giallo. Go ahead and put some comments down here. What are your favorite ones? What am I missing thus far that you think this is a must? If you have not seen this Giallo, this is a must. I'd love to hear that stuff from you guys, and like I said, whatever your favorites are. So let's get nerdy. But do me a quick favor. Hit that sub sub ugh, excuse me. Hit that subscribe button for me if you can. Uh, I get so excited about this. I just want people to to subscribe so I can have you around and and bring you back into the fold so we can get nerdy about horror. So if you could do me a favor, uh, that's your best way to repay me. If you like anything I've ever done and support me and just be like, hey, you're cool. I've watched one of your things. I like it. Here you go, buddy. Uh, yeah. So subscribe and then if you could also hit the notification bell. Because then you'll know whenever I'm putting up a new video. And uh, it helps that when a video goes up, people watch it, give the thumbs up to it, and everything helps it gain traction. But, you know, regardless, uh, thank you very much for taking your time to watch this. And until next time, keep it brutal.